Hi, I'm Jenny Lee Grace and I want to introduce you to a fabulous woman who is a colour counsellor, image consultant, you do colour analysis, it's Jules Standish. She's also an author of a great book called How Not to Wear Black. Now, Jules, you have done a little bit more of an in-depth analysis of me before and we decided that I'm a spring person. So mm -hmm. for everyone there is a season. Correct. Just explain how that works then, because it's not necessarily the season you were born, or is it? No. It's, it's more about your genetic colouring, what you've inherited. So you, in order to determine um, where you sit within the colour range, um, you have to go through a series of testing looking at the eyes. It's the pattern and the colour of the eyes that determines whether you have a, a spring sanguine colouring and personality type. So that will automatically tell me what your skin tone is. And we know with you that you have a, a yellow golden skin base, even though you're more on the cooler side of, of spring. Um, and also you are a very sanguine personality type. You enjoy being with people, you like working with people, um, you enjoy change, you're a very positive person, and you've got quite high energy. So all that ties in very much psychologically with your colouring. So the colours that you wear should be a lot about you and how you feel about yourself mm. and should tie in also with the colours that you have up against your face that make you look your best. And the theory of the book that you wrote, How Not yeah. to Wear Black, is, is that so many of us do wear black and I mean, I, mean I do but uh, sometimes but I do know people who wear it all the time yeah. because they're convinced it makes them slim, yeah. they're convinced it sort of hides any bits of bloat and also that it's because they're in some ways they're actually hiding something a little bit afraid of color yeah so which is where this is very very interesting mm -hmm. now i know that what you're saying is that some people can wear black and yes. for those of us that shouldn't wear it all the time at least we shouldn't wear it against our face exactly so do you want to show what happens when you drape black I mean, I'm not sure if I just should be allowing this, because I know what you're going to say. Well, basically what it does is make you look really old and wrinkly and lined and dra drains all the colour from your face. Lovely. Thank well, you, you have much. great skin tone, actually. But, but um, unfortunately, on a warm skin tone, what it does is it does highlight. It highlights the The lines. darker the shadows under the eyes, if there's any of that going on, wrinkles, and it affects everybody differently. Yeah, yeah. And more so as we age with a warm skin, sure. skin tone and some cool skin tone. Sure. So there are lots of different ways of wearing black. If you were, for instance, the, the, the more we move it away from your face, you have your own natural skin tone up against your face so automatically it's changed sure. the effect against your face there are lots of different ways of wearing black and one of them of course is to put um, a scarf that's within your colour range yeah. up against your face that's lovely and if we were to do that automatically you've got that colour changes it. it changes it completely so there are lots of different ways of wearing black if, if one wants to continue to do so it is only really truly slimming on, a, on someone who has a cool skin tone and the melancholic uh, personality type sure. because it is a, it isn't a part of it is a, about hiding it is that introvert personality that wants to hide and overweight women often feel you know yeah. they want to be invisible even so. though ironically the black could just be actually accentuating some of the lumps and bumps whereas a color would yeah. actually take well, the eye away from it different colors that suit each different sure. personality and coloring that would do the job much better than black yeah. Okay, so if we're not lucky enough to be able to hire you as a colour consultant then, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, the book that you wrote, How Not to Wear Black, mm -hmm. um, we can use this as a self-help tool and we can actually yep. work out what Completely. we are, can we? Yes, and you can work out what you are. It's got a personality questionnaire, it's got the eye testing and the draping you can do for yourself to find out what your true colours are um, and then is black one of them? And if it isn't, how can you continue to wear it with the colours that really suit you? Great. And give us your website, Jules. Uh, it's www.colorconsultancy.co.uk. Thank you very much.